Hey guys, it's the Solar Cloth here today, and so it's Monster Legends Weeks. We have some brand new League of Monsters as well as a brand new move set. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so the first week is going to be this picture for the Thetan Tideboard Conjuring. You can see all three of the monsters that are going to be in it. And yeah, of course, the best one is going to be Thetan Tideborn. He is, of course, an ancestor monster, so he's just automatically better than these two mythics. But of course, these two mythics are pretty decent as well. And then we have some trades for Rebel Frost, Soka, and King Darren. We got Area Dodge, Cooldown Immunity, and AoE Drown, which is a pretty good trait on Rebel Frost, Soka. And her relics are going to be a Mask and Trap, which are also pretty decent. And then King Darren the second is going to have Immune to Possession, Immune to Sudden Death, and Torture Immunity. So the last one is good, but the first two are not good at all. And his relics are going to be Sword and Amulet, which are okay. Definitely not the best traits on King Darren the second. And then Thetan Tideborn is going to have Bulwark, Block Resurrection, and Life Regen for all allies, which honestly is not very great. And his virtues are Anticipation and True Vision, which are also just not that great. And his relics are Staff and Trap, which are pretty decent. So yeah, honestly, Thetan Tideborn is not a very good trait, which is kind of interesting. But his moves are very, very good, so I guess that kind of counteracts it. And then we have two upcoming monsters. We have Wolperdinger and Deep Doom. So Wolperdinger is a very interesting interesting name. Kind of fun to say though, and Deep Doom sounds pretty cool. And yeah, I'm sure we'll learn more about these monsters very soon in the future leaks videos. And then we have Sky Cold's moveset right here. He's going to be a water light tank with Megaton, Freeze, Shields, Torture Immunity, and Freeze Immunity. So that does sound very, very good. So he's going to have moderate water damage to all enemies with torture immunity to all allies and a 25% life shield to all allies, which is pretty good. He also has an AoE immunity to fear and immunity to freeze, which is pretty good. And then he has a heavy water damage to one enemy and freeze to one enemy and Megaton to himself. He has a Megaton to himself with a maximum life increase to himself, which is pretty good. This is a pyrophobic shield with 50% life shield, which is really good. I believe that makes it so that he can only be hit by fire moves so yeah overall he's got some pretty great moves and i'm guessing his trait will be megaton so that will make him very very good and that will make him definitely one of the best tanks in the game since of course all the best tanks have megaton so yeah when sky cold comes out go and try to get him i'm not sure what event he's going to be in i wonder if that has been leaked yet let me go ahead and scroll up and see so yeah he's going to be in the upcoming Tails challenge so definitely go and try to get him out of that because he will be very usable and let me know down in the comments what you guys are most excited for and i'll see you guys in the next one don't Read a like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.